hey, here's what the Bible has to say about abortion in five Bible verses about being pro-choice and abortion. Number one, the fetus is not alive, it is not a baby, it's not a human, it is not a baby. So it says, when men strive together and hit a pregnant woman so that her child come out, but there is no harm, the one who hit her shall surely be fined, as the woman's husband shall impose on him, and shall say of the judges um, determined. But if there is harm, there shall be paid life for life. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. Life for life. The Bible literally calls the baby, the fetus, a human, a life. Boom. All right. Number two, people should have the right to choose what they do with their bodies. My body, my choice. First Corinthians 6 and 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God. And ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. It's not your life or your choice. You do not belong to yourself. You belong to God. I want to cover the history of people in the Bible killing fetuses, children, or babies. This comes from Exodus 1 and 22. And Matthew 2 and 16, um, Exodus. And Pharaoh charged all the people saying, every son that is born, ye shall cast into the river and every daughter ye shall save alive. Trying to kill off Moses, who was a deliverer of God's people. Matthew 2 and 16. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceedingly wroth and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in the coast thereof for from two years old and under, according to that time, which he diligently inquired of the wise men. We see nothing but murderous practices from demon-possessed men trying to kill off God's people and also men prophets of God. Matthew 18 and 6, but who shall offend one of these little ones in who believe in me, of whom it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he was drowned in the depth of the sea. God does not play. Number four, life does not start at conception. Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee and I ordain thee a prophet for the nations. This is just teaching on the nature of God when he spoke to Jeremiah. And also Psalms 139 and 13. For thou formed my inward parts. Ye knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. No one is made on mistake. You are made on purpose, for a purpose. And last one, number five, babies or children are a mistake, accident, burden, or inconvenience. Psalms 127 and three. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb, a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are children of one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is filled with them. Five scriptures on Jesus being so pro-life and not pro-choice.